Well, hello there, it's Green and welcome to another speed build. So, as you can see, we're doing a little castaway thing building, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm, I'm honestly, I, re I honestly really like it. So, I hope you will like it too. Um, let's talk a bit about the build and the idea behind it. Obviously, where I live, it's summer, unless you live in the other part of the hemisphere. It's super hot here, and I'm sweating my butt off as I wanted to build something, you know, equivalent to that. Something summery, something fun, and I scrolled through Pinterest like a lot, trying to find something that I would enjoy to do. And I saw a lot of different things that I honestly liked. It's not that I hated them, but none of these sparkled my interest at the moment. Um, however, I'm gonna do a couple of those because they are super good and I really want to see how they will look in The Sims. Uh, but my favorite thing, like my favorite Sims 4, no, Sims DLC, I don't know if you can call it a DLC, was the Castaway stories. I loved that game so much, like I remember playing it as a kid, like mm -mm, non-stop, murdering a villager and just living my best life, it was perfect, I loved it. Uh, so this is what I got inspired from. As you can see, this build is in a stop motion type of video. I don't usually do stop motions. Originally, I thought, as you can see, like we have this little cabin here, and my idea was let's do the exterior because obviously exterior usually takes me forever, um, and this is so detailed, as you can see. So let's do the exterior, and then I'll do video of the interior, furnishing it. After I was done and I did the exterior of the build, like the actual house, I was like, I'm not happy with it. Like, I couldn't pinpoint what I didn't like, but I wasn't happy with it. It was very basic. <laughs> and I know this doesn't really look like a basic build, but I wasn't happy with it. So I slept the night, came back the next day. And I tore the house down. <laughs> and I decided, you know what? We'll do a 260. No, two, 360. <laughs> Sorry. We'll do a 360 and let's... No, that's back to my bullshit. We'll do an 180 and we'll just turn this build around. And we'll do an even more castaway. Because obviously when you have a house, the sim has kind of settled down. Has gathered resources. Was able to make something out of it. And how it looks now, it's more of a bear form, like, you're just there. Um, but this video, as I said, is in stop motion. Uh, <laughs> the stop motion finishes now. But I knew I would have so much to talk about, plus the ad limit is in 8 minutes. So we'll go through some videos. So apologies for that, but yeah. Um, <laughs> sometimes so the waterfall thingy here i had the waterfalls originally for an older build of mine which was uh, the yamatan cafe i'll link it somewhere in the description and i was really happy with that but i didn't use it at the time however i saved it and i thought you know what let's implement it here because obviously you're a castaway you're in the middle of nowhere um, and I really like the whole waterfall with the pool. However, I have to say, if you want the pool, like the Japanese thing, spa, to work, I don't know how it's called, sorry, the natural springs, maybe, you need to delete the second waterfall, otherwise it doesn't work. It's stupid, but I don't care. Also, can we talk about the little hammock in the back? I'm obsessed with how this area turned out. Really proud of it. So here is like the living quarters, and as I said, I wanted it to be more bare bone and more. I I'm just here. I've been living like for a month or so. You can see the airplane in the back, which <laughs> I thought it was like an airplane accident. You can also see like the little uh, gravestone there. My idea was it's kind of mm -hmm, morbid, but you know, obviously the same survived and their kid died. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with me, but whatever. And you can see like the little tent, it's kind of DIY, everything's kind of DIY. And I don't know, I'm really happy with it. Here you can see the little flip-flops. 
but I added those, I thought they were really cute. And yeah, you can also see the hanging fish. I decided that I don't want to have many things, like I want to have the table, the crafting table. You have an area to drink to and eat stuff. And you also have like a hidden booth to go pee pee. And that's it. Um, also, I decided to make a raft, as you can see on the left side of your screen. This is for the homeless to cast away. And I really like how it looks like. I'm so happy with it. It's super cute. And on the right side of your screen, you're kind of seeing um, <laughs> a cave with some hidden secrets. And on top of it, like the ball, it's from a movie that I've never seen. I can't think the name of it right now, but like the person had a ball and named it Wilson. So <laughs> this is it. Yeah, I'm um, really smart. And this is the area where obviously the Sims can eat. You can see again the waterfall in the back. I don't know. I'm honestly really happy with it. Uh, I didn't thought that I would actually like it this much. Just honestly really proud and uh, now that we're done like with the build. So if you want to download it, this is already in the gallery for I, I don't know. Have I already shared it? Probably, maybe not. But yeah, you can find it in the gallery. Just delete the waterfall in the back and then everything is completely usable. And like the area in the back like this path and that's it i don't know what else i think you're going to also go on an overview of the build yeah i really like it we also have some faces i don't know i think it looks cute i think it looks cute it's kind of crowded also i really like the rocks with the help i think this is an excellent touch however in the back of some videos that i took you can see like a little boat hanging in there so yeah, whatever. I think it would make a great like story play. Anyways, um, kind of more to be I haven't made a video in quite a while. I actually built that before going away. My father passed away very unexpectedly. He was only 58. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to go back to normal life. I came back home. Hopefully I can find my old routine and inspiration. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you'll have an amazing day and take care. Bye.